Oh, hey guys, coming at you with another video on this Tuesday, Tuesday. I have been gone on, I shouldn't say vacation, but I have been on a live study review course in Dallas, Texas, yeehaw. And I had a good time. It was definitely worth it. I have a test in three weeks, so I hope to pass it. It's going to be one of the more difficult tests I've ever taken. And I'm, um, I'm pretty nervous for it. So getting ready for that. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about for people that are kind of new to anxiety or just starting to deal with it like understanding the sole costs of anxiety if you do it how I did. Um, because if you do it how I did, you're gonna spend a ton of money, you're gonna waste a lot of money to a certain extent. And I don't want you to fall in that trap, especially in today's day, day and age, like obviously the economy isn't doing great, costs are way up, and so, you know, I'm trying to help people conserve money, but also feel better. Like, you know, money isn't everything, but there's a certain ratio of money to, um, you know, lifestyle that, that does, that does associate with a little bit of happiness. Like, don't get me wrong. Like we'd all like to be super rich, but it doesn't help to have a little bit of money to pay your daily expenses and not have to worry about your bills because that's an extra stressor. So for me, when I started getting this back in 2016, you know, we had the initial ER visit. Well, ER visits aren't really covered, you know. Uh, if you go to the ER, it's going to be four figures. And that was four years ago, five years ago, six years ago. So I don't know what it would be now, but it's going to be pretty damn expensive. And I did that twice. So you think you do the ER visits twice, once, twice. I might have hit a deductible. I don't know. I was still on my parents' plan, but still it was like $1,500 each time. So you think three grand. Well, then I didn't pay for that. So I got lucky that I didn't have to pay for that. Um, and I was fortunate for most time you'd have to pay for it. The thing I did have to pay for was the MRI, which ended up being more expensive. <laughs> the MRI in and of itself, I think gross wise cost like six or seven grand. And then after taxes and or after insurance kicked in, it was like two and a half. So I essentially had a mini payment uh, to find out that I, and maybe the reassurance was okay, but it was like, it wasn't necessary. <laughs> it really wasn't for understanding what was going on. So there's, you know, I don't know, four or five grand now, you know, half of which is mine. And then we got a CT scan on my lymph nodes, which were a little bit bigger than normal, but nothing actually that severe. Now, part of this sucks because my dad does have lymphoma. Um, so it was like, oh shoot, do I have that too? Kind of thing. It would be very rare that I have it at that age, but it's not out of the realm of possibilities. That was another thousand dollars once tax over. So four procedures alone have an out of pocket of six grand, three and a half that I paid for. You know, does, does, do, do a lot of people or majority of people have $3,500 just sitting around, let alone six? No, they don't. And then on top of that, you know, you have the minuscule things. You have the other appointments that you're going to that have deductibles. Like I got, I went to so many doctor's visits to just do normal checkups, which were okay. They didn't cost me anything. Maybe a deductible, maybe 20 bucks a pop each time, but that stuff added up. And I was going three, four, five times a year in like 2016, 2017. So you tack on a couple hundred bucks there. Then, you know, I would go to like the ear, nose and throat because I had a sore throat for a really long time. I didn't understand what it was. Well, it turns out it was sorry. It turns out that it was, uh, 
poor or poor digestive management and acid reflux. And something that cost me cents per day, not even a couple cents, fixed that problem. No problem at all. Didn't have to didn't have to go through any of those procedures and stuff like that. Didn't really have to look do a CT scan either. That was part of it, thinking that CT scan was part of it. And it could have been the reason why the lymph nodes got inflamed. Who knows? We'll never know. So you have that. Then you also have all the, you know, therapy sessions that I did. And I didn't do that many. And a lot of it was covered. But it was still like, you know, probably 100, 200 bucks when it was all said and done. Now, I'm going to also discuss the other things that I did that were not that beneficial um, and cost me a ton of money. And that's Cairo and massage. Now, I would say these are actually applicable things to do. I think they do help, but they are very expensive because they're not really covered by insurance. Yes, I could do it through an HSA, which doesn't cost me anything necessarily, but it does cost. It is a cost. It just comes out tax-free, which is great. So, you know, an hour of massage is a hundred bucks, 80 bucks. You know, I probably had 20 massages. So now you're looking at another $1,500. And though I do think they help, there was never really a, you know, I would say I would knock about half of that off because I didn't really understand what the core problem was. I was just going to feel better. You know, I wasn't doing anything uh, my mind wasn't like, oh, I'm doing this to feel better. No, it was, I'm just trying, I'm grasping at straws here. Same thing with chiropractic. And the annoying thing about chiropractic, if you don't have a good chiropractor, it's a complete waste of money, in my opinion. Because chiropractic care is all about, you know, obviously realigning the spine, helping that, but also taking it a step further and strengthening those muscles in your neck and around the body to make you more mobile. And honestly, I would go in, they crack my back, they do a few exercises, and I was in and out in like four or five minutes, and it cost me a hundred bucks a pop. Or another fifteen hundred dollars. So at the end of the day, it's around it was around ten grand over the course of five, six years. Yes, I was able to figure that stuff out, but I could have found it out for a much cheaper price, like on YouTube or something. Like I said, this comes down to a, a few simple properties for most people. Now, obviously, anxiety is very broad, but in the modern day and age, I think it comes down to a few things. And that is stress low overload and sensory overload, aka too much phone usage, poor job, poor uh, family habits, poor social habits that increase stress um, to the point where it's overloaded, the body can't take it anymore, thus resulting in panic attacks, etc., etc., etc. The next one is that compounds it is poor lifestyle, whether that's diet, exercise, um, and poor sleep. Now, I am not overweight, and so I could see this as an even bigger problem because you're more inflamed if you're overweight. So, for me, this wasn't the crux of the issue, but I still was eating poorly. I still had a quick metabolism, um, but I was feeling like garbage. My resting heart rate was up. I was not a healthy individual, thus more prone to anxiety, more prone to depression, everything like that. The third and final concept was just not really doing anything to take care of my body. You know, I don't drink that much. I don't smoke. But I wasn't doing anything to take care of my body. I wasn't lifting. I was weak. My I was frail. And I, I wasn't doing anything to strengthen those muscles that are tense constantly throughout the day. I'm compounding by doing things like this. You know, I'm compounding it by, uh, you know, watching TV or playing video games, doing a lot of pointless activities that unfortunately amplified muscle tension, amplified the problems 
um, in the long run. So I wanted to put this video out and I hope this helps a lot of people that you don't wanna jump right into the extremes of these problems because they will cost you a lot of money. And I think that is an important concept in this because it's like people, I see people that struggle this not for five, 10 years. I've seen people 30 plus and it's like, who knows how much money they've spent on all these different, you know, gizmos and gadgets and all these kind of things to try to save it when they're not really focusing on the main problem. Um, they're treating the symptoms, not the main cause. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, and uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate the support. You guys have a great day. Peace.